Hello guys, what to you, Skywiser, and remember that time that I said after my drawing regular polygons video? Yeah, well, you got your wish. I'm back drawing drawing more shapes. And today we're drawing three dimensional shapes and shapes that probably shouldn't exist. You'll see. You'll see. So first of course, I'm using the paintbrush. We're drawing a cube. So for a cube, you need square, square, line, 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 line. Now, if I was drawing this out on a piece of paper, that would look much better, but I'm not, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Next is a rectangular prism. So all you do for this is you go, eh. Eh, eh, So it long cube. <laughs> that looked really bad. Oh. Next is a uh, triangular prism. I'm only coming up with ones I can uh, draw, cause trust me, there are many others. Input list on screen, but you know. I can't use all of them. Or I, I should say can't draw all, all of them. Uh, next. Okay, that's it for three-dimensional shapes. On to four-dimensional shapes. Yep, I said I could draw shapes that don't exist. So I'm drawing four-dimensional shapes. We start with a hypercube or a tesseract. So all you do for this one is you take a cube and you put it through a cube. Yeah. Guess what? Do 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 do. And now all you do is you just do 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 hypercube achieved. Oh wait, I've forgotten to be. App labeling all of these. What? Cube. I don't care that says Ukbe. Rect. Wait, no, 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 no. Long cube. Long triangle. Tesseract. Ah! I must now draw a different version of Tesseract, which I am absolutely terrible at drawing. So, it's probably going to be double the bad drawing because I cannot draw very well. <laughs> it's not a straight line, I don't think. You draw a cube, and then you draw a cube in cube. Because that how geometry work. Eh, 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 eh. Ah, that looks. We're gonna pretend like that never happened. I'm, I'm gonna cut that out of the video. Um, next we have the hyper hypercube or the hyper tesseract or the pentaract. I might actually need the line set, the line tool for this. I don't care if they're straight lines, but I care if they're lines, so. Line. <laughs> my hand is so twitchy. Because I can, well, I wouldn't call my handwriting beautiful. My drawings are pretty nice. However, I wouldn't, so, I wouldn't be so sure to call uh, my penmanship on a computer nice. Last time I checked, people typed their essays, not drew their essays on paint.net. Or you could just do neither of that and go to chat GPT. Don't do that, that's cheating. There we go. That's a cube. 
Now you know what we're gonna do? Now we're gonna make it a hypercube. And then we break physics again. Because after we're already done breaking physics by making this abomination, uh, 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 <laughs> by making that, which if I was drawing this for you live and in person, then it probably will look much better. But I'm not. So, I'm sorry. But maybe one day you'll get to see me draw a Tesseract live and in person. I'm not saying today, I'm not saying tomorrow, I'm not, I'm not saying tonight when I crawl into bed. I'm not putting that in. I'm just saying, one day you might see me do it. <laughs> and then, you have to draw another Tesseract. How long have I been filming for? Ugh, six minutes. I, I thought I've been filming for like ten. Can't tell you how many <laughs> lines and stuff there are over there. But, you know, that's how it goes. See? And now, you just connect. These up. And then, did I explain that I have to do make another cube? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hmm. I just realized, if I go all the way back, to this I can just do the <sighs> yeah sometimes Skyline's nerd is very smart sometimes he's not very smart you learn from your <laughs> mistakes I told you I could just get a robot to that's cheating. <laughs> there we go. Perfect squares. Now we take the line tool and you just hook them up. Cube to cube. I am cube. Hey, you've seen an old person? No, no, no. You've never seen a cube person. Why? Just why? This is extremely uncomfortable. Let me, we can figure my body. Uh, uh. <laughs> there we go. Finally, now I make the hypercubes. That's a test rack. And that's another test rack. And now we're going to do the, the unimaginable. We connect them again. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Not terrible. There we go. Pentaract. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put that one there. And.
probably skip to the end of the video if you don't want to see what horrific thing I'm fixing to make. Well, well it's, it's quite beautiful. But, I mean, your mind just might not be able to comprehend it. That's not me saying that you're dumb. You're stupid. Because I know, whoever watches this channel is quite smart. I'm just saying your mind will probably explode. Copy. Paste. Then we just, oh wait, hold on. Well, I didn't mean. Damn it. Oh. Copy. Paste. Paste yet again. Oh wait, uh, it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a, uh, a, uh, how do I say, hyper, hyper, hyper rectangular prism. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go, is you're gonna see something that's, like, illegal, like, if you showed Einstein this, he would be like, boy you're crazy or girl or whoever the heck you are or man or woman or alien you're crazy <laughs> we connect all of the vertices of the cube to the other one so now we've suddenly started making a cube where all of the of the vertices are three dimensional instead of zero dimensional and all of the edges are four dimensional instead of one dimensional and all of the faces are five dimensional instead of two dimensional and the entire thing instead of being three dimensional has magically turned into a six dimensional shape now when i type it i will explain the weird notation i use even so Perfect. So this is a two over three hexaract. Now, if you don't know what the two over three means, again, skip to the edge if you don't want to be a nerd, like a, a hyper nerd. Uh, the two. This is a two-dimensional manifold. This is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional model of a six-dimensional shape. My work here is done. <laughs>